Hello everyone. In this part one of trigonometric functions, I'll explain angles and their measurements. So let's start with the formation of an angle. So for this, let us suppose we have a fixed ray OA, and we have another coincident ray OB, which start to move and take the position this part. Then we will say. that whatever this formation that is known as the angle and it is represented by boe so angle is formed by in that case if we have a fixed ray and there is a another ray which is moving and taking any position then whatever figure is formed that is created an angle in some books it is also mentioned there is a ray and they that ray is moving and creating another position then whatever part is formed that is known as the angle so anything we can take now another thing we have two types of angle if the rotation is in anti clockwise sense then whatever angle is formed that is known as the positive angle and if we have a fixed ray oa and ob is moving like that now look at this thing this is the clockwise rotation and in clockwise rotation this is called the negative angle so there are two types of angle number 1 if with respect to this fixed ray rotation is in anti clockwise sense then whatever angle is created that is positive angle and if it rotation in clockwise sense then angle is formed is known as the negative angle now measurement of angle before this measure of an angle measure of an angle means in this part whatever amount of rotation is take that is known as the measurement of angle look at this thing this is the fixed ray Moving the OB, rotate करते करते यहां पर पहुंची Then amount of rotation is this, and this is known as the measure of an angle. Now measurement of an angle, there are following system of measuring of an angle. Basically, these two are very very important. Number one is degree measure. If a right angle is divided equal part. in 90 equal parts then each part is called a degree ek right angle lijiye use 90 equal parts mein divide kar dijiye then each part is known as the degree and it is represented by like that 1 degree 45 degree 30 degree is depend upon the amount of rotation this is you have to remember one right angle is equals to 90 degree we know very well 1 degree is equals to 60 minute and 1 minute is equals to 60 second this is the notification for minute and this is a notation for second now another thing radian measure or circular system from name it is clear if we are taking the measurement in a circle then it is known as the radian measure what is the meaning of one radian suppose this is the radius and if we have a arc suppose the radius is r and if we have a arc whose length is also r then whatever this formation this is known as the one radian it means radian is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc whose length is equals to its radius so this is the way to define the one radian now we will create the relation between radius arc length and angle so for this we know very well this is the one radian now if we will take any other angle let us suppose this angle is theta and this is the point c now and let us suppose this arc length is l this arc length is r and this is l now look at this thing 
वी नो वेरी वेल दैट एंगल ट्रेस एट द सेंटर इफ यू विल फाइंड आउट द रेशियोज ऑफ दिस देन दिस इज इक्वल टू द रेशियोज ऑफ द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग आर्स दैट इज वाई एंगल एओ बी अपॉन एंगल एओ सी इज इक्वल टू वट इज द आर्क लेंथ कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस ए सी एंड वट इज दिस सॉरी कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू एओ बी वी हैव ए बी कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस वी हैव ए सी नाउ एओ बी मीन्स वन रेडियन एओ सी मीन्स थीटा वट इज दिस आर वट इज दिस एल it implies that theta is equals to l upon r so this is the way to find out the relation in the same way we can find out the relation between degree and radian what is the relation between degree and radian pi radian is always equals to 180 degree now different different methods suppose we have to convert 45 degree into radian so for this there are two methods what is this one is unitary method in unitary method because we have to convert degree into radian we will say 45 degree is equals to pi radian 1 degree is equals to pi upon 45 and sorry 180 degree is equals to pi radian 180 degree is equals to pi upon 45 and we have pi upon 180 and we have 45 45 means pi into 45 upon 180. It means this is pi by 4 radian. Or in short, a student can do directly 45 degree is equals to pi upon 180 into 45 radian. It means this is pi by 4 radian. But whatever directly they are doing, basic is applying unitary method only. so if you are using this method no problem at all you will get full marks suppose we have to convert pi by 3 radian into degree into degree then directly you can apply the solution pi upon 3 in that case we have to do 180 upon pi it means what is this 60 degree and this is the answer so this is the way to change this thing now this starting point is very very important on the basis of this thing you have to solve other questions i'll explain more questions in next video don't forget to give the answer of this question in comment box thanks and god bless you